all right so there is this popular video that is moving around social media walking left and right on social media where the oppositions then they try for show us now the video this i will play them later long na see na the video this so uh this lady won't they see so it be then at the town hall meeting in the very first place congratulations to uh siba you did extremely extremely well i hold you to my heart and of course his excellency julius madabio you they bring the government to the people and the people to the government this is what democracy is all about but at the same time, I applaud everybody yesterday. We uh been they they we do a lot of questioning, the one that we do. But this is not the very first time in the history of Sierra Leone where we see a sitting president allow a live questioning, people that they question them. Although CBA categorize all the questions we've been telling Una in uh, subsequent broadcasts, follow Una send Una questions to 818 way then go able for ask the president because if you get 1500 questions president julius mother you know go sit down there for 10 15 hours answering all 1500 questions but see back categorize them into segments where president answer congratulations i hold you to that i'm so happy for that now let us come to the truth of the matter about this video first and foremost are they applaud president julius mother bill for waiting he do where he accepts this kind of ridicule this kind of nonsense and this kind of rubbish now in stage and i also applaud um siba for allowing this lady for making express in desire one in the very first place we go say a freedom of speech but your freedom of speech is also limited right you did not send your question you did not raise your hand up. You not show the kind way where you go ask a question in a respectable way. This is a sitting president, not so a mediocre president, not a president where you feel say you go boom at or a ministers where you go boom at. But for the bare fact that uh, Minister Ba given the opportunity, say we now have opportunity with a given thirty seconds for making ask the question. Even though we don't close the session, the, the, the question in session, that's something where I really applaud this government for. Where they trickle we down to radical inclusion, it is telling us that everybody is inclusive in as much as your political career, your political uh, affiliation. Everybody is inclusive. That is something I hold you to extend. And we are radically inclusive, including everybody inclusively we can all make this government inclusively we can all be a political party inclusively we can all be a nation to develop one mama salo and the only mama salo we all get now one we're not severely right so this lady was very disruptive yesterday it makes some very derogatory statements there one of the statements where it make way catch me attention uh, President Julius Madabi, you've been talking about agriculture, you came from the mud. You, that was very wrong for that lady, for use that word. You came from the mud. Who told you Julius Madabi came from the mud? Probably you don't know where he came from. Who told you Julius Madabi could be boom at? Probably you don't know you left and right. And who told you that Julius Madabi is a president that is not a listening president? And by the way, you are talking about economy, you are talking about difficult times. People that waiting are overseas. Who say at up right now? Why they talk to you? You know the gallon, the price of a gallon of milk. If they convert that, they are not come measure it. So how much did they pay? You know the price of a gas or petrol. If they come measure it, that is not equal to waiting you they pay. A bag of rice now you are at uh, uh, twenty five kg. You not come measure it. So how much did they buy fifty kg under? But before I go go further, I want to listen to what he say. When I do, I want to listen to right now. Still, the agriculture sector is poor. You are from the mud. You know how much people let they suffer for it right now less than six leons. They love me, I love me.
not the guy. You are about to leave us. What are you? Government or somebody where they need this way come on I mouth, right? Now, first and foremost, like I tell you, I applaud President Julius Mada before even allowing to answer the question, even though the question was very chaotic because people are not able for listen. Some quarters then say they surrounded the guy, the lady. Well, in that kind of way, where somebody get up, it they, it they express in desire very rudely. Do you expect people to leave him or leave her just like that? Whether lady they grab, see how euphoric she was. See how agitated she was. And somebody they tell me, say, because when NT can be, my inbox is like something where I need for come and respond. They see me now as somebody where they talk for this government or somebody where they need for push word nine months for make it up. But when you push it to me, I will come and reply to you the way you want me to. So um, some mixed feelings they talk say it's a freedom of uh, expression. Your freedom of expression is also limited. Even Usa Wide, you cannot just get up and start calling the president all sorts of names. You go see FBI go can and get you into handcuff. You cannot just get up and start saying rubbish because you feel say you get freedom of speech. <laughs> you can be held accountable for that. So in the very first place, that lady would have been held accountable for waiting it do. But at the same time, just like I say, I applaud the president for being a very good listener. And for being very uh, tolerant, because if not some president say, then we we'll just say when I get her out. That's a rude way. You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't talk to me like that. Or in ministers, then we we'll talk say, you know, or Siba. Let me say Siba because he was the moderator of the program. Siba for talk say when I get him out from here, he has all the rights because you have a channel to which you de you de send your question. The one that we ask individual questions, we stand up, they send their question to be scrutinized. You don't just get up and talk to a president just because you want to. Even this democratic state where we did, where they say uh, democracy, they preach about democracy. Nobody just get up and talk to the president like that. So for me, this lady, in as much as president was very tolerable and answer in question, I know we can't tell how president answered the question because it was neatly and seriously answered. I congratulate my president for that. I know we'll bring that extra. But for this, where this lady I talk, my brothers and sisters, if it is in this type of this uh, world, she would have been held accountable. She would have been behind bars for now. I know say me critics then go come and talk, say, uh, again, right for talk that you don't have rights to talk to the president just as if you are the one feeding the president he's a legitimate president he's an elected president voted by 57 point something percent of the republic of Sierra Leone. who do you think you are to just talk to him like that so for me i feel like this particular action is punishable the need for punish this lady using those very derogatory words against the president it is a punishable act let her know that the comment section wait to wanna feel about that and I go see when I inside a next video or a next something we go come up. For now, wanna buy. Make sure I wanna listen.